All righty, I have a construction update for you guys today. Um, so a lot's going on. Um, Moosehorn Falls is starting the aesthetics, which is a really good sign for any of you who have followed Canada's Wonderlands construction projects. You all know that when it gets to the aesthetics part of the landscaping, that usually means the attraction's going to open very shortly. In fact, Yukon Striker, the aesthetics were started like literally, I think, like three days before opening. Um, and same with Tundra Twister and all that. So it is a good sign. I know we still have certification to go and TSSA approval and all that. But um, I do suspect putting the final two weeks, like for sure it's going to be open within two weeks as long as there's no problems, I think is a safe bet. Sorry, I'm still struggling to breathe, by the way. It is starting to look like I had pneumonia. So, uh, yeah. But nonetheless, at Project 2025, um, they've moved the drill towards Tunnel 3. It is going to dig those three or four footings in Tunnel 3. Um, and then at the end of this video, you're going to see something interesting. Because I think Wonderland's going to have to move around fences in the area. So, um, as you see there, I'm struggling to breathe. But yeah, if you look, they're starting to put the brickwork back around the launch area. The little booster is what I'm calling it area. Um, so I have a feeling we're going to have to walk through that area because they have to do the footings um, for columns 13, which is right in the middle of the path. And guess they're going to have to walk somewhere. So they're going to want to get all these footings done so they can just reopen this area for Halloween Haunt. Um, but yeah, there is work going on for the station area. As you can see, this flat rebar cage. Um, they're digging that out. Um, so currently, when I filmed at 1.30, they were still working on the station footings and then the turn into the launch footings. But at the end of the day, um, when I got some footage, uh, they were essentially done. 95% of the footings in this area, I think they have a few more left, but they're all dug. So that's the crazy thing. Um, and how they do it is basically they dig the footings on one day. And then they pour the re oh, sorry, they put the rebar cage in, and then they'll pour the footings, let them dry overnight. They come back in at around like super early in the morning, five in the morning, and get the threaded rod put in, and then those boxes and the um, the case on I forget the name of it again, those little white tubes around it, sono tubes, whatever it's called. Um, and then they pour the next day again. So it's a it's like a two day project, and this was one of their quickest moving days that I have seen the most amount of footings done in a day that I have seen look it's a lot so they're starting to move really quickly I'm very excited on how this project's going to progress is it going to go into the mountain and we're not gonna be able to see much is it going to work its way back through the break run who knows but I'm excited um, thank you so much for watching the daily construction updates and stay tuned for our next one bye guys